But I want to personally thank some folks here tonight. Uh, my family's here. Uh, my mom and dad, two of the best people in the world, Neil and Jimmy. My boyfriend, Greg, who is always doing anything and everything his way in the corner. I want to thank Jeff, Lonnie, and Teddy for speaking tonight. Thank you so much for all your support tonight, but also behind the scenes. It means the world to me. Um, uh, there's a, a lot of other people I want to thank, and I could thank every single one of you. I also want to thank Marie Stokel from the Weymouth Republican Town Committee. She was our lovely checking person tonight. And before we cut the cake, there's also these beautiful red, white, and blue pretzels that Mrs. Alabachin, Greg's mother, made. So please take some with you. And for setting us up this evening. He's been running around and been amazing. I don't know where he is. And I have one more recognition. Uh, we are 21 days from Veterans Day. And I would like to take the opportunity to thank and recognize the veterans that are here tonight. I'm going to go through a list of the people that I know. And if you are also a veteran, I'd like you to stand up. So. First, my father, Neil Santangelo, United States Navy. My boyfriend, Greg, United States Marines. Joe Fleming, United States Army. Let's see, uh, Aaron Packard, United States Army. George Perry, United States Marines. And then also Ian Dargan. I didn't know you were going to be here tonight, but please stand up as well. What branch were you, Ian? Air Force. Air Force. Do we have any other veterans in the house that I did not recognize? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Jimmy, I didn't Jimmy, know. Jimmy, United States Marine Corps. Oh. Massachusetts Republican State Committee in the 1st Plymouth and Norfolk District. If anybody didn't know, that district consists of eight towns. So it's Hingham, Weymouth, Hull, Norwell, Cohasset, Situate, Marshfield, and Duxbury. A lot of people have asked me, State Committee, I have no idea what does that do. So I'm going to just give a brief background for anyone who's not familiar. So in Massachusetts, the Republican Party has two levels of formal organization. That is the Republican State Committee and that is the local Republican city and town committees. So if you look for a formal definition of what the state committee members do on the Mass GOP website, you'll see that the duties include building the Republican party in districts by recruiting candidates, helping with fundraising, registering new voters, and growing the local Republican city and town committees in the district. While I agree with these initiatives, I see the role with some additional responsibilities. Being a state committee member, to me, starts with being present and being a leader. Making a conscious effort to attend meetings in their communities, being responsive, being accountable, actively listening, collaborating inside and outside of the district, having courage, communicating effectively, being flexible, and having a positive growth mindset so that we can continue to grow and a strong and effective Republican presence in Massachusetts. Sorry, my mouth is getting dry, guys. If you think about it, and whether you like it or not, local politics affects our everyday lives. The people elected to local positions in our cities and towns act as our first line of government. They are the most accessible part of the government to average citizens like all of us here tonight. They are the faces that you can actually talk to regarding the issues in your city or town. Hence, why I think it is utterly important to elect present and hardworking state committee people who will get involved in working with their local committees to get conservative leaders elected to their town councils, their school committees, and as registrars. I heard a saying last week at a conference that I was at, closed mouths don't get fed. And it really resonated with me, and it should resonate with everyone here. We should all care about 
what goes on around us and in our country, and we must speak up and get involved. If not for yourselves, do it for your children and your grandchildren. We must protect the goals of our forefathers so that we can preserve the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for the future generations of this great nation. Getting involved looks different for everyone, whether it's running for an office, volunteering for a campaign, holding signs, writing to your local legislators, or donating. Whatever it may be, we, the people, must do our part. There are three promises I made when I announced my campaign in March of 2023, and I will continue to stand behind these. Commitment. I will do what I say I will do, and I will maintain a reputation for being dependable and trustworthy. Transparency. I will be honest, I will be authentic, and accessible so that I can listen to and connect with my constituents. And perseverance. I will remain dedicated to achieving the goals of the communities I represent even in the face of adversity. Motivated by traditional values such as hard work, honesty, common sense, and integrity, I am confident that I will be a breath of fresh air that is needed to strengthen and reinvigorate the Republican Party in Massachusetts and strongly serve the people in the 1st Plymouth and Norfolk District. When it comes down to it, it's really simple. I love this country. I'm proud to be an American. We are fortunate to live in the best country in the world, and I want to do my part to keep it that way for today and for tomorrow. It's time to bring fresh perspective, strong leadership, intelligence, and dedication to balance the scales and elevate the Republican Party in Massachusetts to excellence. And that is why I am running for Massachusetts Republican State Committee. Thank you all for being here tonight. God bless you. God bless America. And on to victory on March 5th. I wanted to uh, add a little bit to Lynn's thunder. Um, my name is Aaron Packard. I'm a current uh, state committee man for the Worcester Middlesex District up in Northern Worcester County. I met Lynn at Jim uh, Lyons Barn for Jim Jordan. That was my first uh, meeting with her and I've been friends with her ever since. August, this uh, past August, I had the fortunate privilege of being teammate battle buddies with her at the Leadership Institute down in Arlington, Virginia. We both learned uh, an education that is vital for both of us moving forward to help bring back to our grassroots effort. Now, Teddy confirmed exactly what I was telling a few other people. Lynn's expertise, her gift to bring to the table is that perseverance and integrity of data collecting and your media outlets. She, she really is phenomenally intelligent in that area and can help everybody. And as she said, we're out there to cultivate. I heard from another committee man that we are like the front office of a sports team. We go out there and scout the talent. We get to know them, we interview them. Once we feel that they, are, they can be part of our team, we get them drafted. And, and, and that's really what it's like. We want them to be on our team, batting for our team. We will give them the tools. Lynn can do this. We want to help get them to the next level so they can also help others. And I sincerely hope that you all give the support she needs because she will definitely give it to you in return. Thank you. With that, please eat. If you didn't eat, talk to someone you didn't meet. Um, cake. We can cut off the cake. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I couldn't be more thankful. So thank you.